Well, here we have well. Duh, so funny. Anyway, um, this is a superb map. I might personally prefer this over two fort. Like this is at the very least, this is like a top five uh, Team Fortress classic map for me. I can play this one all day. So while I'm playing this with 32 people, um, I actually slightly recommend trying it out with 24 people. When you have a full server here, the center area gets a little bit too nuts for my liking. But I will concede that I think it is quite fun with a fulls team too. Especially when you have people like building up stuff in their forts like, you know, engineers and like dumb man building traps. So I'm going to go with 32 people. Now you got the center area here. Uh, you don't want to stick around too long in here because there's a lot of places to chuck in grenades or other explosives. So you're going to have a really bad time. I'm going to talk more about the rivers in a second here. But basically, you're going to see right away that snipers will absolutely dominate this map. Because you can get up here if you want and snipe. There's like a little elevator here. You can also be sniping in these areas, like a little dedicated sniper area. And hell, you can even be sniping from the doorway here. If you want to open up the door on the other, uh, like the opposite team, you gotta press these buttons. So that gets a little bit interesting there. Um, let's go into the map real quick here. So you got this lower area here. This is one of the few areas that's kind of similar between the two versions of the game, like, you know, between Team Fortress Classic and Two Fort. I mean, two, Team Fortress 2, sorry. So this is how you get to the sniper area if you want to get from there. You gotta climb up and take these little ramps here. You get two ways to go there. Or, or, um, I'm gonna show you in a second. There's a, a second, a third a little, like, tier here. Which is great for defense, because you could be chucking down, like, you know, proximity mines. Or, sorry, not proximity. A remote mine as a demo man or being a heavy weapons guy. Or just at any other class that's good for chucking stuff and defending you can get down here. Especially because you got a ton of grenades to pick from. Um, you can jump down here, and you can ride the elevator up back up there if you need to. And this is how you get to the one sniper area. There's an alternate way. That's also how you get up there if you want. Now, going this way real quick, there's another elevator which will lead into the flag room. I'll come and show you that in a second. You got first your spawn point here. You got this spawn point's nothing, not really worth talking about too much. But if you hop around this way here, you're going to notice that there's an acid pit in this spawn point. This is very important because this will actually lead you into the flag room. They give you these nice little air pockets here for the slower class. It's very generous of them. And here's the flag room. You got a couple ways to get into the flag room here. You can take the down way. Obviously, if you're down bad, this is how you go this way. Pretty good. And if you can come up this way, you can ride that elevator up and give you yet another option. And you can see here you got elevators too. Which I think are the only elevators that work if you're the opposing team. I'm... Almost 100% certain that they don't work. These ones here don't work if you're on the enemy team. But I might be 100% wrong. This is one map I haven't played properly in quite a long time. Uh, you can get down here. And this is where your capture point is, obviously. So keep this in mind. Don't! This is a little bit different from 2 Fort. Where in 2 Fort, you had to go up into, like, with a sniper area in the center area. Here, you gotta get to this little pillar here. Which is a little bit annoying because it's quite a bit of, like, quite a ways to go. But oh well, who am I to judge? This is map design. But the flag itself is here. And this room could be really annoying to get into. This is, room isn't quite as impenetrable. And in fact, this map as a whole isn't quite as impenetrable as 2 Fort. And especially something like Rock. But you know, well, like, the like, main set of, like, sentries. Or heavy weapons guys doing their jobs. Will make this pretty damn impenetrable. And like hell, you could be building stuff in here too, right before the flag, so you gotta be really careful. You can press this button to open up this little grate here to give you a little bit of a quicker way to get out, but you're still gonna be getting shot up the ass. So that's about the, the entirety of the map, but we gotta start talking about the river here, because this is, also the, this is also this pipeline here. And what's so special about this pipeline, you might ask? Well, as you can see, if you ride it down here, you're gonna eventually get to a grate. That you can blow up with a demo man's debt pack. And this leads here to the, like the little bridge area. Remember I said that? Well, that's pretty much the only way in my opinion. That the opposite team, you as the attacking team, will ever get into the capture point. Because getting through this, like the center area here, is just fucking absurd. Under normal, like, you know, like, you know, circumstances. You want to keep pressing it. 
So the enemy team will have to focus a lot of resources on here. But uh, the, if you're actually serious about getting into the like the flag room and stuff like that and capturing, you gotta take that. So obviously you gotta have a demo man to do that first. Uh, and one more thing, you do got this little area here, which will lead into the like the slime pit in the center area, one for each side. Don't discount that if you feel you need a more stealthy way to get around, especially if it's a really like skillful team and you don't want to get shot by snipers up the ass all day long. That's what you got to do. So yeah, really good map. One of my favorites. And let's give it a real go right now. I have very mixed feelings, in all honesty, about having the liquid in the map be toxic like this. Because the first time, player's not going to think to jump in there. Like, obviously, probably by complete accident, they'll eventually fall in and realize, Oh, wait, hey, wait a minute. You know, I can swim through here. There's things to do. There's alternate routes to go. But I almost feel like, you know, you could have just made it dirty water or something like that. It's just a little deceptive. It's it's a visual. It's a really minor nitpick, but I, I'd feel remiss if I didn't bring it up. Well, obviously, I got to demo man it up again and get to that great. I ha the bots usually will, like, build a, like, you know... Or, like, blow that up, like, almost ASAP. But, you know, I feel like I gotta get the job done now. Especially while I'm confused here, because I got hit by the spy bomb there. Seems like the best option. Go away, spies. Go away, other spy. I mean, medic, sorry. Didn't mean to misrepresent you. Well, it's gonna help this scout capture, uh, like, in inadvertently, but I want to get this blown up ASAP. There you go. And give him some parting gifts. Because I ain't gonna last much longer. Well, considering that there's no other demo man on the team this time around, I think I'll actually stick to being the demo man. Doesn't mean I'm gonna play defensive though. I am gonna try to get in there and get that flag. Ah, balls! Everyone's gotta be using my sick shortcut. So I had to reset the match because I just remembered I didn't turn on the time limit. Oops. This also always bugged me too, this little spot right here. You see that? There hasn't been any action or anything in the map yet. It just looks off. You see that? That's nasty. Ugh. Arr. There are no engineers. Are you absolutely for real? Well, let's step up to the plate. Better build a sentry though. So now this time I will be doing um defense though because let's be honest. The engineer's pretty, like, you know, solid with the shotgun, but, you know, it's just not obviously going to get the job done if you're actually trying to play seriously. Yeah, this is a pretty good spot. I always build right in here. Not facing here, though, you think that'd be better? Because they're going to chuck it, like, the grenades through. That's my always problem. So I always build, like, kind of here, I always felt was a good spot. I mean, you could just kind of throw the grenade in, but still... I just feel it's a little bit harder to deal with here. It's hard to explain. See, on this map, usually I build a dispenser first, but you got all these resupplies here. So I always feel it just makes more sense to build the sentry first and then go on afterwards to build the dispenser because you're just gonna get more like resources faster this way. I always like that Fox Bot feels like obligated to tell us when it builds something. That's very nice of it. It really is just amazing how much, like, aesthetically this map looks different from its Team Fortress 2 counterpart. Because I like how the map is lit and stuff and, like, the time of day and just, the, like, the actual environment in the Team Fortress 2 version. But still, it's nice seeing this much more, like, you know, gritty sci-fi version. It's just such an opposite. Alright, so now that we got a solid defense for our flag, I think I'm going to try to build a teleporter. Not to here, but into the enemy base. I feel that's... A a much better use of the teleporter in this game. In fact, that's how I was somewhat felt. Are you a... Uh... Ha! <laughs> what a fucking numb nuts. But yeah, anyway, I was about to say, I always felt the teleporter made more sense. Like, building a teleporter for use for your offensive team members in, like, the Team Fortress games made more sense. I don't think I can build underwater, though, can I? I can! I'm pretty certain I can. I think this is a pretty bad spot, though. I don't know why I went this far. We're just gonna die. Huh. I'm not sure what my end game was here. Oops. Oh. You think they ever come this way? 
Well, I guess that answered that question. Well, someone's- I just realized someone's already attacking my entrance. That's a good feeling. Damn it. Oh, fuck! Damn it, team! We've been defending too well! I thought that was open! I'm not waiting. I'm just gonna suicide. There we go. There's a viable strategy. Don't feel like wasting time. Just kill yourself. I literally saved that sentry from, like, the brink of death. It's like at one health. Amazing. Well, fuck me. Well, that was a failure of a throw. Good. 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 I'm reconsidering building there. Where else could I go, though? Over here? Hmm. Yes. Yes. See the kind of color-coded vaguely? I don't know why it's not totally blue on that side, but you know. The one side's got kind of the red metal. I'm gonna build over there. Why is there an enemy engineer there? Ugh. I feel like my team's just d dicking around right now. I'm the only one who cares. Yeah, I knew you could build underwater. I mean, this will give them a little bit of a head start. All right. I mean, when you're playing with real people, you're gonna find that they actually use the teleporter wisely. Or like build teleporters in like, you know, good spots and stuff like that. But it just doesn't happen with the bots here. They just don't have the same initiative. Not that I really need to tell be telling you this. Okay, okay, Steve, okay. Oh my goodness. It's like a smorgasbord of heavy weapons, guys. Actually, I want to try something really stupid. It's like really dumb. This isn't going to work. I want to build a sentry or a tel the teleport exit on top of their base here. I mean, that's almost probably not going to work at all, but I want to give it a shot because, you know, it's just... It's so stupid, but it might actually work, you know? <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'm going to just rush. I'm just going to just go. Be stupid. Throw caution to the wind and see what happens. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Okay. There's plenty of room to build here. What are you talking about? We have to go. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm a fucking genius. This is so going to be like the greatest strategy ever written. Sun Tzu is going to rise from the grave and add a chapter in his book, The Art of the Warfare, or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> He's going to add a chapter entirely dedicated to the teleporter on top of the enemy base strategy. Oh, uh, suicide for victory! I mean, to be fair, this map is kind of stalemate too. Like, you know, it's not going to be very many opportunities to actually get in and, like, you know, get captures. I still think compared to 2 Fort and, um, you know, especially Rock and even, like, you know, maps, like, other, like, TI, like, Capture the Flag maps I've played, like, this one is far, far easier to actually, like, eventually get a strategy and start dominating the other team. I mean, this isn't the first time I've done this. I just wanted to build up, you know, as, like, for dramatic effect, but I've totally built a teleporter exit up here and tried to guard it. With, like, you know, another engineer. Like, obviously, when you're playing with a real, like, set of people, eventually, like, someone's gonna notice this and, like, you know, destroy it. But with Foxbot, they just, they can't figure this shit out. So, you know, it's a, it's a terrific strategy in that case. Like, look at this. You'll notice that there's barely any blue people coming out because they're too busy dealing with what's going on inside. Well, I've used up all my grenades. I'm just gonna go in. That'll help you build your sentry. Why not? I'm a nice guy. I'm a team player. I like seeing the shark gun just as much as anyone else. Oh shit! My exit. I I need to. I, I gotta repair that. This is very important. Yes. I mean, I don't really see the point of another sentry here, but okay. You could also turn it around, my friend. That might help you. Oh, such amateurs. It's almost like they're just mindless AI with no thought process or something. One shit pick I always have with this map is that you can't duck through this to get out.
So with the singular exception of Hunted, which I will get around to making a video on eventually, uh, I've covered every one of the launch maps for this game. There's only six maps launched, if you remember me telling you that in one of my earlier uh, Team Fortress Classic videos. Um, I will obviously be getting to the rest of them because I, I, you know, this game is sick and I like this game. But for now, I think it's time we talk about some opposing force.